Okay, so once you have your normal colors in, um, basic as in there's no shading, there's no lighting, you have your color separated onto layers so you can uh, shade and light it, um, highlight it. This is when you can actually see the, p the picture someone put together. And this is when you can choose colors for shading and just, this is when you want to also um, make sure that you have your colors put in where you want them to make sure that there's no color that's not supposed to be there or whatever. Okay, and I, I always leave the eyes for last, which is why it's blank. Okay, so right now I'm going to shade white. I'm just going to lock my transparency for white, and then I'm just going to shade from there. Um, people can either shade for white with either a uh, gray, or like a light gray, a dark gray, or some people sometimes do a weird greenish color. But because grayscale is supposed to be based on the fact that she's white and then also has a lot of rainbow colors, I'm just going to leave it to gray. Because the shading for the white may take away from the other colors if I leave it at that. Um, the way I like to shade, it really depends on my mood and what I'm, style I'm going for, but normally when I do chibis, um, I normally use my lasso tool and I select where I'm going to shade a certain spot, and then I gradient it. Um, I like gradient shading, it's, it's kind of fun. Okay. And I always have my opacity to around like 23 or so. And just keep on lassoing wherever. And because you lock transparency, you're only touching, you can go everywhere and you're only touching um, the white or whatever layer you've selected. Okay, so I'm just going to shade wherever shadows would have been. And with fluff, you can make it normally like a fluffy kind of selection, so it makes it give the uh, image of, yeah, it's kind of furry, even though you don't have to do every single strand. By gradient, um, normally what it is, let's make a new thing that can show you what gradient is. Let's say you have this blue. Let's make that, I forgot to change the mode to RGBIV. Let's say you have this blue here, and you want to shade it to an even darker blue, more richer. Gradient basically, well, you can select any part that you want to shade. I mean, that's la with the lasso tool, tool, and the gradient basically is not a full block of colors. It's kind of like, well, how can I explain it? It's like gradient, basically. And it basically turns out to that. And that's basically what gradient shading is. And gradient lighting is the exact same way. You just choose a different color this time. It really like you also you're gonna have to know the basics of um, like where to highlight and shade um, from what angles. Always choose the angles that you want to highlight and shade with, and it basically creates that kind of effect. And that's how uh, that's how you um, highlight and shade. 